Welcome everyone. So today we are going to understand how to solve these kind of indices problem. So first thing what you should do is you will keep 4 is to x as it is. And we will try to write 20 in terms of 4. So that can be written as what 4 into 5. Then after this we can't do much. So we apply log on both sides. So now see log of a raised to m can be written as what m into log a. So this can be written as what x log 4. This is equal to log of a product log of a into b can be written as log a plus log b. So here I can say instead of log of 4 into 5 I can write this as nothing but what log 4 plus log 5 okay now in order to find the value of x you will divide both sides by log 4 so here this is cancelling and we are getting x equals to let's split the numerator so log 4 upon log 4 is 1 plus log 5 upon log 4 this is one answer okay another answer which can happen is x equals to 1 plus log 5 to the base 4 since log of a upon log of b is nothing but what log of a to the base b okay so these are the two values which can work but if they had given you the value or the log table then you could put the value of this fraction so here what could have happened in this case is x equals to Instead of log 5, you would have written 0. Point, sorry, 1 plus 0. 0.699 upon log 4, the value is 0. 0.602. And when you divide these values, okay, you get 1 plus 0. 0.161. So when you add them, sorry. When you divide them, you actually get it is 1. 161. So when you add them, you get the final answer of x or final value of x as nothing but what 2.161. Now please understand by looking at this particular sum only, you should have it should have clicked you that the value of x has to be something in two points. Okay. So if you had a multiple choice question and the, all the options were you know the the rest of the options were in the form of one point, two point, three point. Four point. Then you don't have to do all of these workings. Just select two point something because as we know that four raised to two is sixteen and four raised to three is sixty four. So if it is twenty, means the value of x will lie between two and three. Okay. So this is few things. These are few things which you need to remember while solving these kind of questions in entrances. I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.